Right, well. Right. Oh, oh, oh. I'm under. What'd you get? Oh, flipping heck. A two. Did you actually? Yeah, two. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. Ten. Mm. Mm. That wasn't even a good roll either. I know. That's like, what that I thought. So when, I, beatable. When, I, when I rolled it, I said, oh, why have my rolls been awful the whole time? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> they have as well. Utter garbage. You get in there. Absolutely buzzing with that, actually, because now I think I'm... Well, because these aren't in an order, I don't actually yeah. know what I am, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll still be you're, winning. You're still ahead. 100%. Definitely. Guaranteed. No matter what order this comes out in, you are ahead. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Welcome back to Bard and the Ranger. Yeah. I'm the Bard. I'm the Ranger. So Today, this... Go on. I'll let you uh, speak. Uh, go on, uh, go on. Uh, you speak, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. We're going to be doing a Spider-Man review, as you'll be able to see by the title. We're going to be doing... A non-spoiler review to start with. Uh, there'll be timestamps in the description. Just check it. There'll be a non-spoiler review one and a spoiler review one. So if you haven't seen the film, you can still watch the first part of our podcast, but then switch off. Obviously, mm-hmm. we'll give a proper warning so you don't yeah. don't get spoiled by out. And I'm pretty sure you know, but it is the new Spider-Man. Yeah, just Toby. in case you think it's the first oh, yeah. Spider-Man that came out in 2002. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tobey Maguire. It's like gone, lad. <laughs> oh, we thought we'd get get right in yeah. there, starting but, Spider-Man's. But before we do the review. There's a couple of things we want to talk about, like literally like a minute or two. We want to talk about about our podcast. So, yeah. do you want to? So, firstly, just quickly update is I know we said originally that we're only going to be uploading on a Sunday at six, but we've managed to kind of get the podcasts out a lot better and faster than we thought. Yeah, we can. So, team it um, because now we'd be able to do it a laptop with mine, where originally we thought we'd only be able to do it yours. And yeah, stuff like that. So, um, we're going to be uploading now. Thursday at six o'clock and Sunday at six o'clock every week. Um, in terms of just just so you know, just in terms of these podcasts, they aren't like in order. So we might say things sometimes we're like, oh, I'm pretty sure that you know from last week you were talking about. If it, it might sound a bit contradictory, yeah. like these aren't episodic. It's more like certain topics that we're talking about and they'll upload whenever they upload yeah. whenever like this one we've already got a star wars one recorded but this one will go up before the star wars one even though we're doing it recording it after the star yeah, wars one because we feel like it's more recent because the spider because films the, just came out yeah. so it just makes sense and uh, as well as that we we are we do listen to the podcast ourselves you know well i've got to do it to make sure they're editing uh, i think josh listens to it as well mm. because he's weird and listens to his own voice <laughs> but um yes. We, we have a few improvements that we think and some of my friends have said that we need to improve on. So one of them, we talk over each other a lot. We talk over each other like all the time. So what we're trying to do, like I think we'll obviously still do it because to us it's more of a conversation and we obviously just interrupt each other yeah. but we're going to try, when one's talking, just stop talking yeah. unless you've got a, a valid point. Yeah, because I think sometimes we forget we're doing a podcast because yeah. we're just chatting about stuff we're actually interested in so we just yeah. end up going off on like a kind of rant. Um, and another one is we we talk too fast a lot of the time because of where we're from in the northeast in England. Um, it's just this kind of place in England where the accent's very fast. When we don't really realise, obviously, because we live here, um, but people have pointed out to us, anyone, because we know we've got a few listeners from America, yeah. Canada, uh, Netherlands, Netherlands yeah, from. Um, who obviously aren't from this part of the world. So their yeah. voice will sound weird to them. Well, like, yeah. It's like listening to a, a foreign person speak really quick. You're like, hold on yeah, a second. So, yeah. What are you saying? Yeah, so what we're going to do is, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're just going to basically slow it down a bit. Yeah. Try to not interrupt as much. Obviously, we're still going to interrupt because it's a podcast. We're talking. At the end of the day, we're having a discussion, so it's going to happen. Yeah. Just not as often. Well, like, And if you, if I do interrupt, like, if I don't have a valid point, I'll just kind of stop myself, let them continue talking, and just mm-hmm. so we're getting the, the right points out there. Uh, another thing we need to improve on is obviously we've been friends for quite a few years mm. we have a few inside jokes that people listening who don't know us or don't know about us obviously some of these jokes are just going to go straight over your head and you're going to be like well this isn't for me yeah, so we're yeah. going to be trying to do a lot less in, like obviously I, I still think some things <laughs> will pop up and mm. it might be funny to us and we'll try to explain why it's funny for us so mm. say what we're doing inside joke, I can't think of one in my head right now We'll explain the context behind it, just so you're not like left dangling. With yeah, no... just like I'm sure that'd be funny, but I have no idea what you're talking about, kind yeah. of thing. Um, another one. I'll talk about this one because this is my bad. I mm. do the I do the editing. Yeah, I know it's <laughs> terrible. What? <coughs> do you know no, I'm laughing and coughing. Do you know what I was about to say? We just talked about interrupting each other, mate, and you just blow me out like that. Come I on. Help me, I'm not coughing. But yeah, um, 
I do the editing, <coughs> and I don't know how it happens. I'm going to have to look through my settings on um, Sony Vegas and stuff like that. But um, I download like the image from online. I make sure it's 1080p. I do all that. I put it into Sony Vegas. It looks fine in the preview. But once I render it out, it comes out super blurry. And I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing I've got a rendering setting that's wrong that is making it super blurry because the, the videos were fine. Like, they weren't blurry. It's just, images just seem to be very blurry. So I'm going to be Googling it, YouTube vids it, until I find out what setting I've got wrong. Yeah. And if you watch the E3 one, the reason it was so oh. black boxed round is because Tom uploaded it in 480p. I clicked 480, like, when I rendered it out, I clicked 480p by accident. So it kind of messed it up completely. Tom still thinks we're in 1995. Yeah. 480p is crisp quality, mate. Crisp. <laughs> oh, flipping it. I've got a bad cough, oh, I tell you. Mate. No, I have. Do you have a drink? No. I'll be, no, I'll be all right. I'll be fine. I thought you're not having any my looters no. in, mate. Well, so we'll do the... We'll start now with the non-spoiler yeah. review. So this is the non-spoiler review part, and then don't worry, we'll tell you as soon as there's going to be spoilers, we'll warn we will, you, so you have plenty of time to kind of click we'll, off your We'll do like a big 10-second warning. I might yeah. even put alarms. That I'm yeah, no. I can't bother. But... No, because <laughs> no, now we'll be expecting alarms. He's not going to put alarms. I, I might, you know, I might put like a spoiler warning with like a flashing light on the screen. Yeah. Oh, that was one more thing, just um, in terms of the improvements. We're going to try... Because sometimes, and I know Tom doesn't mean to because he forgets because obviously he's doing quite a few things in the rendering and everything. We're going to try and make sure that if we say we're going to put something on, we put it on. Yeah, I forget But Tom's just been forgetting, haven't you? So. Like in the, in our Call of Duty one that uploaded on Sunday, because this should be going up on Thursday. Yeah. So the one that uploaded on Sunday, uh, there was like a clip that I talked about. I ended up putting it later in the video because when I was listening to it, I, I wasn't fully concentrating and I missed out on the clip that we were talking about. So later on in the video, I end up putting it in, but from now on, I'm making sure that if we're talking about a clip, I am going to put it in. So next week in Star Wars, we talk about a few clips. Mm. I will make sure. If they're not in there, down in the comments, I want to see Tom, you're slacking, mate. Slacking. Yeah. But by that, I think we've covered everything that we need to cover. Obviously, we know we're not perfect. We know we need room for improvement, but just thought we'd give you a heads up, just so you're not like, these are going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Like, we've only been doing it for a couple of weeks, really. Yeah. So we've got tons to improve. We just on. love it and we want to keep doing it. So just yeah. trying to give you a heads up. So, no inspire review. No inspire review. Spider Man Homecoming. Uh, just, well, I'm just going to put out there. I thought it was mint. I absolutely I, loved it. I thought it was mint. I thought it was class. I went in there with the mindset of. So I'd watched um, um, Jared Jans, I think he's called. I watched his review on it. Yeah. And he can be very harsh on movies. Is he the one so, who says awesome tacular? Yes, yes. Yes. I love him. I love him because he's, he's... I watched his review before going in as well and he said awesome tacular for it. I was like... I got like really excited. I was like, oh man, yeah. it's going to be good. Well, I I like his because his reviews are so laid back because you've just got a red background behind him and it's just him talking on a microphone. That's yeah. why I like it. You know, a bit like oh, yeah, Word. Really just doing really cool. now. He just, just talks into it. Um, so I always watch his reviews um, to make sure the film's half decent before I go and see it. Not, not the spoiler reviews, obviously. I, go and, I just watch them for the non-spoiler. Um, and I usually watch Chris Stuckerman, I think he's called, but I didn't this time round. But I always, nine times out of ten, when Jared Jans says the film's really good, he does. Yeah. And um, they're really oh. good. Oh, all right, mate. My no, voice. Like, well, that's what they do. That's their YouTube channels. Um, so shout out to them. Yeah. They're never going to listen to this. No, but, but there you, you should go, go and check them out. If you like your movie reviews, Jared Jans, Chris Stuckerman. And they do, it's very concise. They're not like, like this is going to be probably like 30 minutes long. Their, theirs is like five minutes, non spoiler review. He's facts. That's what he thinks. Boom. This yeah. is more conversation about the film. Theirs is a strict review, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. No. So if you're into that, it's good. Watching that, though, it kind of got me hyped. And I was so hyped going into it because I'd watched another person. Um, if A hyper RPG. Mm. I love them, guys. Like, I watch their things all the time. And they did a non-spoiler review. And they were saying it was mint. So I got... I, like, when we were on the way there, I was so hyped. I was kind of thinking to myself, I'm so hyped. If this isn't going to live up to standards, I'm going to be even more crushed than if I was going into this with low expectations. With low expectations, yeah. But it worked out well. Even with high expectations, it over exceeded yeah. my expectations. It was that good. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about we'll talk about the characters. So, what we, so well, first, whoa, whoa, whoa! We no. can't talk about that's. Well, we can talk generally about the. No, characters. I was just I was just going to yeah. go briefly over them. All right. Yeah. yeah so um, I thought I thought Tom, did, I, I'll just talk about the yeah. actors. So I thought Tom Holland. Amazing job! Did a really, really good job. He definitely brought the kind of kid 
yeah. to Spider-Man. I think if you watched, you know, Tobey Maguire and if you watch Andrew Garfield, I know they try and act all high schooly, but you can just tell they're so much older. Like, they're, they're as actors, you can yeah. tell, they're just way older. Well, as, as well are. as that, like, in both of their, like, um, interpretations of Peter Parker, yeah. they started off at the end of high school in the first film, then moved on to college into the next film mm. and stuff like that, which kind of takes away... Uh, one of the bigger elements about Peter Parker is him being a kid, a superhero. It's kind of like, well, I'm 18 now, but like, obviously, when the first Batman film came out, I was like four. But obviously, like later on, mm. you think this, like, what would I do with that power? How would I react? And that's what he's kind of meant to be. He's like the kid superhero. Yeah. But with their with their parts of it, it was a lot older, so it kind of missed out on the the feeling. Of... Yeah, I feel I feel like in the in the older ones, he kind of just seemed to like like a few hours, and then he knew how to control it. Yeah, like all, all of a sudden. as well as that, it also felt like um, like think about the number like the first Spider Man film, the Tobey Maguire first mm. one. He was in high school for what probably in the whole duration of the film, probably about 15, 20 minutes, if that. Yeah, yeah. In the whole duration he's, he's, he's of the not, film, he's not really in it at all, is he? Whereas in this film. He's in high school a lot. Like, a lot of the film is based around high school friends. Well, it's called Homecoming. Yeah. I think and, but, it like, you might think, oh, but then there might not be enough Spider-Man in it. There might not be enough villains. There might not be enough whatever you want out of the Spider-Man film. Mm-hmm. They, they do it all, even while having the, the high <coughs> school kind of teen comedy vibe. Yeah, no, no, it is brilliant. And obviously, we won't, like, start mentioning, like, scenes and stuff like that. will be a yeah. spoiler bit, but... Don't mention that name, um, because that is spoilers. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I won't, I won't. Um... And, you know, I loved how, like, um, you know, Iron Man wasn't in it loads. That's one of the big things. Looking at the trailers, they obviously put Iron Man in the trailers a lot because he's a cash cow. Mm. People who aren't really into superhero films, like I'm into superhero films, where I, I, I like, wait for releases. I, I see um, directors talk about them. I, I watch loads of videos about them. I even read comic books. So when I'm going into a film, I already know everything about it. But people... Like maybe your auntie out there. Yeah. They see Iron Man in a the trailer. They're like, oh my gosh, Iron Man. I'll go watch that as well. Yeah, yeah. So I can see for the wider demographic why they put Iron Man in the trailer a ton. But they used him so well throughout the film, so sparingly. Yeah, But yeah. enough to where it impacted Peter, where you're like, this is his mentor. Yeah. What's his, what's the Iron Man's actor Tony Stark. Not Tony Stark. <laughs> That's oh, his actual thing. Yeah. Uh, Robert Down Jr. Loads of people love him. Yeah. So some people might go and watch it just just, just because him. of him. Loads of people love Robert Down Jr. He's like really popular. Yeah. It's like the Sherlock Holmes and everything yeah. that he's in. Loads of people like him for that. What I also really liked about this film as well, um, <coughs> in Iron Man 1 and 2, you don't see him in 3, cause, and he kind of left the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. Uh, Happy Hogan. I forgot who plays him, but he's like Iron Man's kind of, kind of his like best friend really. Mm. Like he's kind of, he's like uh, his head of security and stuff like that. He's back in this film and he is really funny in it and I'm glad he's back because if you think about it, he kicked off the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He directed Iron Man One. Did he? Yeah. I forgot. I, what, I forgot who the actor's called. Um, but he directed Iron Man One and Iron Man Two, I think. Um, yeah. So he, he basically kicked off the Marvel Cinematic Universe with this like and a big hit. So it's glad, I'm glad to see that he's back in it. Even though he's not directing, but I'm glad that he's. I didn't even know. John Favreau. That's his name. Well, there you go. I, d- I, d- I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Like, he directed it along. Yeah, that's like... So, he's kind of like... Not the reason why the Marvel Cinematic Universe is so successful, but he started off with Iron Man, which, to many people, is one of their favourite Marvel Cinematic films. Mm. So, it's just... I, it was good to see him back. Mm, no, definitely. And I think the Vulture, yeah. who was obviously the main... Yeah. Uh, Michael Keaton played him. Yeah, that's So, him. people have been calling him the Lord of the Wings. <laughs> <laughs> because he plays <laughs> Batman. Yeah. Then he played the um uh, oh it was out of uh, there's a film where he he gets wings or something. I forgot what it's called, but he plays. Oh, I know what you're on about. Yeah, I don't know that. I, I forgot its name. It. And then obviously now he plays the Vulture, so people have been calling him the Lord of the Wings. Lord of the Wings. You you know what? I mean, we won't go too into that, but he was brilliant as well. I thought he, I he was, well he was scary yeah. at parts when he when he was fully kitted up into the vulture and the the music and the noise his noise of his suit i was like this is intimidating no 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 i oh, know it was 100%. even when he was out of the suit he was intimidating no, like his persona he no, was like he was he was a very very i liked how he wasn't just yeah you know typical bad guy he was just the yeah. way he went about it he was just well obviously i won't spoil loads of stuff but he was just the way he went about the whole thing um 
it was just very clever. I yeah. really liked it. And what I liked thing. about it, um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe gets blasted a lot for having crap villains, and a lot of the villains are crap. But he's he's actually rated as one of the best right now because he's he's not just a one layered villain. He he's got other motivations just behind. Not it's not just money, or it's not just. I want to do this to hurt people. He's got motivations, and at some point, he's actually quite sympathetic because yeah, some of the yeah. stuff that happens to him. We're not going to go into it, but yeah. you, you kind of feel for him a little bit. Like I can kind of see I where you're relate. coming from. I can relate to yeah. yeah, yeah which makes yeah. a good villain if you can kind of relate to it, and you're like, obviously not split because yeah. you still feel Spider Man is in the right. You kind of like, you know what? He's not a yeah. Because it's nothing worse when you just like that villain's just being a villain for the sake of being a villain. I mean, it it can work in some situations, like um, the Dark Knight with yeah, with the Heath Joker. Ledger Joker. Yeah. But that's the character. He is just there, like it says, he's he's there to see the world burn. That's all. He's, but whereas this character is a lot more. Well, actually, not Heath Ledger Joker is very dimensional. But this one is also like very well played and portrayed by uh, Michael Keaton. No, I think that should cover our. That's non spoiler review, yeah, just yeah, quick yeah, overview. Just, just quick overview, really, um, just to say how much we enjoyed yeah. the film. Really good, I'd recommend it. Yeah, for oh, 100%. The, uh, go on, 100%. Like, if you, if if you haven't seen yeah, oh, no, go, 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 go No, you go on, mate. Oh, you cheers. go on. Cheers, mate. Um, <laughs> just, if you haven't seen a superhero film in a while, or you haven't really been enjoying some of the stuff that's been coming out from, not just Marvel, the superhero universe if in general. If you feel like it's been a bit of a drag and you're not really interested in it anymore, mm. Go see this one. It is a refreshing. Yeah. It is fun. It's something different, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a, it is a lot different to the, the it, Marvel films. It still has the it. essence, and you can feel that it's the Marvel film, but it's it's a much more different from other things in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the other Spider-Man films, Spider-Man, Spider-Man films. But um, pardon me, that um, it's a it's worth a watch. Hundred percent, go watch it. Yeah, even if you're slightly in a anything superhero very slightly go watch it no, it's definitely. worth it right so that's where our non-spoiler yeah. ends right it ends spoilers are coming next Is five seconds and there'll be some spoilers there's flashing stuff on the screen turn off now if you haven't gone so seen t- it three two one spoilers. spoilers right oh mate it was so good it was unreal right so we'll keep it structured so we're not just yeah so Pete, in. Peter Parker oh my god I think Tom Holland played Peter Parker Perfect. Miles better yeah. than any two we mentioned in the. And do you know what I really liked as well? Um, with it and and uh, May, um, like he's Spider Man, but when Aunt May tells him to do something, he still does it. He's like still a kid, if you know what I mean. Mm. So like Aunt May will be like, "Do this," and he'll be like, "Oh, all right, sorry, Aunt May, I will." Yeah. And he's scared of it. And he's he? scared, even though he's Spider Man. Yeah. He can lift like tons, yeah. and he's no, scared I, of Aunt May. I, I, I love how they went for a completely different direction this time, so they're like, alright, we know that you know he's been bit by a spider, we don't need to run through yeah. that story again, um, so you know what, we'll, we'll change it up a bit, so he's already been bit by a spider, and he's been Spider-Man for a couple of months, it's yeah. like, it starts straight after Civil War, oh, oh the beginning with the camera, with, so he's like, obviously he's videoing himself, um, he's just kind of doing like a, what's it, um, a, a vlog, a vlog, that's it, he was just vlogging, um, and it just... I love the bit where he's just like, uh, he's, he's about to do the whole bit where he comes in and yeah. like Iron Man's like, Roos! and he comes under Roos. in, under Roos, and he comes in and goes, hey guys, uh, but you don't, it's do, like, filmed yeah. by his own little camera, it's brilliant, yeah. I absolutely love And you, see all, you also see Ant-Man uh, turn big and stuff like that, and it. it's like so well done, and links it into Civil War so well, and how the transition from in the car when he's like vlogging, and then it like peels out into like the how the rest of the film's going to be. I was like, the, the start of it was so good, like first four minutes or whatever. Mm. I was like, yeah, this is... No, no, definitely. And I, I think, I just love how you can just tell he's a kid. Yeah. He's like, oh, and then Iron Man came in, and Iron Man did this, and then yeah. all of a sudden Captain America came in, and I took his shield off and all yeah. that. And he's like, he's just super excited because he's a kid. Yeah. He's 15 years old, and, and he's, he's like, oh, my days. He's like, I've just fought Captain America. I'm so excited, and stuff like that. And it's, it's so cool to see that, like... I, I like the Tobey Maguire Spider Man. I like the Andrew Garfield Spider Man, but they've done him right, right? Yeah. Oh. They've they've been like they've they've looked at the other films. I mean, like, what is the biggest complaint? He's not a kid, right? Let's make him a fifteen year old kid. How would he react in the situations he's put in? Um, there's a, a part later on where um he goes round the girl's house that he's taking a homecoming, and nice. how he acts in that situation it's is brilliant. Is, just imagine. Well, obviously, we're in spoilers talk, so we can talk about it. Yeah. Um, his main is it? What's her name? Who Liz? Liz? Liz. No, is it Liz? Liz. Or is it Liv? It's Liz. 
Oh, well, Liz or Liv, oh, the, whatever, the yeah. love interest in this film. Um, her dad <coughs> is the vulture. Yeah, but he, he's, oh. so, he's taking it homecoming, so he shows up at a house, doesn't he? Opens the door and it's him. Yeah. And he's like, hi, Pete. Obviously, he doesn't know that he's Spider-Man. Yeah, but he's he knows been... he's the vulture. It is so funny. And how he reacts, he's so nervous, he's like sweating. Just imagine, like this dude, a day ago, tried to kill you. And almost killed tons of people, and has killed people, and you're just walking into his house, taking his daughter to homecoming. No, uh, it was it was absolutely mean. And one of my favourite bits as well was um, when he's trying to do everything himself, and um, it's like when the boat comes apart, and then Iron Man yeah. has to come in, and Iron Man's just like, look, like you're not ready yet. That I think the best line in this movie, like in the other Spider Man, it was always with great power comes great responsibility, which is a big Spider Man scene. But one of the biggest parts and what was really good, and this is, I loved Iron Man. Like, I'm not a big Iron Man fan. I prefer, yeah, like, I'm not. I'm not. I think he's too arrogant. But in this film, they really grounded him. And when he was like, Pete was like, but I'm nothing without the suit. And he's like, if you're nothing without the suit, then you don't deserve it. I was like, that line mm. was perfect. Yeah. That, that made it so good. Because, I mean, if, I don't know if you've watched the other Marvel films, but basically Iron Man's designed this suit for him. Um, and it's like this super high tech suit isn't it and mm. it's got all these gadgets on it it's absolutely class the, the comedy behind it's brilliant oh who's the AI what's she called she called, he calls her Karen Karen because like Karen he's like Karen uh, switch, put on what you think and, he's yeah. like, and it's like instant kill <laughs> his eyes yeah. go all red and he, he's like whoa whoa but Karen is so funny she's basically a character in herself isn't she yeah. so funny throughout the film like his interaction like at one point he gets trapped in a warehouse for the night and so he's just talking to Karen and it's so funny. He's just talking to her, isn't he? Like, no, no, it's, abso- it's absolutely brilliant. I think, um, as well, Ned, his best friend, oh, was funny as... I love, I love Ned, me. Like, he's like the fat best friend and he was just loving every second of it. When he first sees him with the Death Star, he's like, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> no, <laughs> my, my favourite part of Ned is when, at the end, he's being the man in the chair. That's all he yeah, wanted to yeah. be. And he sing, and the teacher comes in, like, what are you doing? He went, porn. <laughs> I'm watching porn? <laughs> that, so, that was so funny. I was like, yes. No, I love it when he's all, when he's like, um, when that Liz is talking about, you know, she's attracted to Spider-Man in the gym. Yeah. And, then, and then he just goes, Peter knows Spider-Man! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, what have you done? <laughs> Peter knows Spider-Man. <laughs> it's absolutely class. So he's he's, he's brilliant in it. Yeah. Um, I the, think... What were you going to say? There, I was sir? going to talk about that character. Yeah, uh, There's a character in it called Michelle who kind of pops up throughout the whole film and you kind of get the sense that she's kind of not obsessed with Peter mm. but kind of following him about a little bit if you know what I mean. Mm. Like you kind of get that feeling. Um, well, at the end, turns out she's MJ. Yeah. yeah so, 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 so she's MJ because she, she says... Because oh, basically they're a part of this um, decathlon team, aren't yeah. they? And then they're like, oh, we think the new captain now Liz has to go. Because Liz had to go because basically Spider-Man beat the vulture, arrested him. Yeah. Got him arrested, sorry. So then Liz had to move away and all this. Yeah. So then it's like, oh, Michelle, you're now the captain of the decathlon team. And everyone's like, yeah. And he's like, oh, and she's like, oh, my friends call me MJ. And then yeah. you're like, oh, it is her. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> you had an inkling, didn't uh, you? Because her name was Michelle. And I was like, they're not going to do it. And not have MJ mm. because MJ like Mary Jane is just such a big part. Like obviously Gwen Stacy's big and stuff like that. But MJ is the final. He gets married to her. Everything. MJ is like the kind of well, the yeah. final one. And like I think it was so clever again how they didn't call her Mary because yeah. that would have been obvious. It's yeah. Michelle. And it, it goes back to the whole Aunt May thing. How she's young now instead yeah. of old in this one. Like and... they just changed a lot of things to where I'm like. It's just it's such a fresh take on Spider Man from what we've seen. It's really it's really close to how the comics are because of, like he's really funny. He's, he's doing quips and he's just a funny character in general. And so it's a lot more where the other Spider Man films I'd call them like a, a action family film. Mm, I'd no. call this an action comedy. No, it was, yeah, it was a comedy. Yeah, no, I definitely call it an action comedy, hundred percent, definitely, definitely. So in terms of your yeah, where it ranks. Films and where it ranks. So, well, ranking... Not, we're not ranking, but... in Compared to the Spider-Man films, so the, the Tobey Maguire, the Andrew Garfield films, I'd say this is the best Spider-Man film. I mean, I, I really love Spider-Man 2. Mm. I, like, the not Andrew Garfield, the Tobey Maguire one and all that. Spider-Man 2 with Doc Ock is one of my favourite superhero films of all time. And I wasn't sure if this would top it. 
It's it's my favorite Spider Man film, hundred percent. It, it is mine. It is mine, hundred percent, definitely. I think, I think, and and like I'm a bit biased because Spider Man's my favorite superhero by yeah. quite a bit, but I think the way they captured the whole, he's just a kid, yeah, and he's still learning, yeah, and he doesn't really know what he's doing like, throughout the whole film. Whereas in the other Spider Man films, like in Spider Man One, when he fights Green Goblin at the end, he's very skilled. Um, in Andrew Garfield, he's very skilled at the end. Um, whereas in this one, he's like swinging webs and just slapping on the ground because he didn't get the right angle, get the right web out, yeah. or he's shooting the wrong web yeah. or something he's like, like that. He's like so inexperienced and he's messing up constantly, but it's so well played that it's like it's not like you're not getting annoyed at him like oh, he's messing up again. You're like, oh, like you want him to improve and you kind of invested in him because he's not Spider Man to start out with. He's not. Yeah, no, yeah. He's not this superhero that everyone knows, everyone loves. He's just, he's just Spider Man. Like barely anyone knows him. He's just there. No, you know no, I mean? it's mint. And I love how uh, there's one point as well in the film where he's. You can tell he's just a kid because he's like doesn't know. There's no like robberies are going on or anything, and yeah. he's like he just this guy nicks a bike, so he gets his yeah. bike. But he's like, who's this the spike? And then he, he, he gives a woman lady. with directions and stuff like <coughs> that. Like just little things like that. It was like yes. He's not, he's not the type of person to save the world, even though he does sometimes because he's still a big hero. But especially at his younger stages, he's a he's a friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. He mm. helps out his neighbourhood. No, definitely. And I think they captured the essence of that so well. So, future of Spider-Man and Do you MCU? know much about... I know quite a bit. Tom I knows a lot more than me because he's in a lot more well, comics than me. Well, but. what they're thinking about doing, which I'm like, I'm down with that, 100%, is um, each... Film, they're thinking about bringing out like another four Spider Man films, another four Spider Man films, and each film is uh, a year later in his school life. So, this is like his like sophomore, sophomore. year. So and where's that in, in our so? Where's that, sophomore in ours? I, I'm not too sure. Well, their states go to their 18 in yeah. America. It's well, a that, bit different. that's what I'm saying. He, so, they're going to do it like every year, he kind of goes up one year in school until he's like out and at college or whatever. That's good. And I like that. Also, I just want I forgot about it and I just want to bring it back. Um, there's a character in it called Donald Glover. Well, he's not called Donald Glover. Donald Glover's the actor. I forgot what the character's called. But um, I don't know if you've got this because you're not really big in <clears> comics. <throat> His character, and he even says he's got a nephew who lives in the area. His nephew is uh, Miles Morales, who is a later Spider-Man. Oh, is he? Is yeah. that his nephew? His nephew is Miles Morales. So it's a nice little... like. It, they don't say it's Miles Morales' as uncle, but it's a nice little thing yeah. for people who know. Yeah. They're like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so Miles Morales is basically the new Spider-Man. Peter Parker isn't... Uh, Peter Parker dies. Peter Parker and dies, yeah. Because Miles Morales already has <coughs> superpowers, but Peter Parker dies in front of Miles, and uh, Miles doesn't use his powers, he feels guilty, and then becomes the next Spider-Man because of that. But it's really... I like, like, Miles is a really good Spider-Man. But yeah, so that... I just... I just remembered it there. I just wanted to say it because that's a nice little nod to her. No. But anyway, the, yeah, the future of the MCU. The thing thinking about doing another four films a year in. I and think I'm, they're going to become massively popular. Like. I, I think if they do it like how they did this one and like maybe it might get a little bit, not darker, but a little bit more serious later on in the years like they do, do with Harry Potter. Mm. Like if you think about it, Harry Potter 1, they're just introducing your Hogwarts and the character. Uh, number 2, Chamber of Secrets, it gets a lot darker. Number 3 gets even darker. Mm. I hope they don't go as dark, but uh, a little bit more serious every year as he grows up and kind of is earning that responsibility. No, definitely, yeah. No, but definitely. Yeah, um, yeah. They, they are doing like Venom films and all that, but that, they said it's not part of the MCU. Right, okay. So Sony are doing a separate thing with Venom and they're doing like that type of stuff. I love Venom. Yeah, I know. I think it's one of the coolest like, like I'm just enemies. a bit annoyed because I think if Sony are doing a Venom film that's not part of the MCU... I don't think People they'll let. Gonna I, no, I don't think they'll let Marvel use Venom as a uh, a character because you can have like Agent Venom, <coughs> who's like part of Shield, who like Shield use called Agent Venom. You can just have Venom with uh, Eddie, who's like the character who is Venom. So that's a bit annoying. But maybe they might be able to like squeeze in like Carnage, who's like another uh, symbiote. Yeah, 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 of Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah, but I think Venom is the coolest um, bad <coughs> yeah. guy. In well, my opinion, obviously, because Sony are doing that, I don't think they'll let him have it in the MCU, which is a bit, a bit depressing. But uh, no, it's just one of those. It was still such a good Spider-Man yeah. film that I think they can do kind of anything 
mm. and it'll be fine. Like, do you know the bad guy? Do you know at the end with Michael Keaton and that dude's got loads of braces on his arm? Yeah, yeah. He's um he's a, a scorpion, I think he's called. He's like a bad guy at the comics who's part of like the Sinister Six and all that they might use to build that up. Oh, well, yeah, because he was saying yeah. me and my friends and all that. Yeah, that's, the end, that, yeah. That, that's kind of like a little hint towards the Sinister Six, I'm guessing. Because obviously Vulture's on that team. I don't. I think Scorpion has like a stint on it, but not really. But obviously, it's like a new character that they can bring in. But yeah. Um, Ending talks who, out of ten. No, I just want to do a quick thing. Uh, what, who do you want as the next villain in the next Spider-Man film? Oh, I don't know because of his old age thing now. Because if, yeah. if you told me about the bringing, I I know who I want. Go on, you say yours. Draven the Hunter. He's. I don't know if you know who he is. He is off his rocker. He's crazy. And I think it brings such a different twist. Whereas Vulture's very organised and very, mm. um, like, sticks to, like, the line type thing. Craven the Hunters is just very crazy, which could bring, tra- like, a new I'm aspect. trying to think of someone they haven't done, because they've done the Green Goblin. Yeah. They've done... Doc um, Ock. Doc Ock. They've yeah. done Sandman. They've yeah. done Venom. They've done Carnage. Yeah. They've done... They've done Lords, haven't they? They've done that Electro... Well, they haven't done Carnage. Haven't they? No. They do number three, Spider Man three, isn't it? No, there's Venom, there's not Carnage. Oh, do they do? Yeah, they do. There's I even watched Spider Man three since it Where came out. Where it goes all dark. That's Carnage. No, it's not. Isn't it? No, Carnage has got like red and black. Yeah. He doesn't go Carnage. I can't. I haven't watched Spider Man three. In I'm ages. pretty sure he goes Carnage. You know, because he goes all uh, dark and like. No, I know he gets the black suit. But that's not Carnage. Oh, isn't it? No, that's not Carnage. Oh, I'm wrong. I thought that was Carnage. No, Carnage is like. Not that at all. Oh, well, yeah. Well, he's done Venom. Yeah, they've done Venom. Um, so then the, all I'm thinking is um, another classic one's like the, Rhino. Yeah. But they, they kind of did that in Amazing Spider-Man exactly. 2 at the end. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They did Electro in Amazing Spider-Man 2. They've done... They, they did uh, uh, the Lizard yeah. monster in Spider-Man 1. I forgot what his actual name is. Sorry. Amazing Spider-Man. No, but I mean... The, I forgot what the Lizard creature's called. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember, but... Um, yeah, so they've kind of done all the big ones, but Craven the Hunter they haven't done, and that I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, no, you're right. Well, they need to go for stuff different yeah. now, don't they? So, so ending thoughts. Uh, just go uh, watch it. Just, That's all uh, I've got to say. I would say obviously it. if you're up to this point, you've watched <coughs> it, so you know how good it was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah sorry, no, no. got a little and and, and like. Obviously, we'll only get like two comments if that. Yeah, <laughs> but let us know what yeah. you think. Give us because no. we're at the end. Just after this, we're going to be giving our rating out of ten. Right now, before you are influenced by our rating, go in the comments below. Out of ten, what did you think? And if you if you didn't like it, tell us why. Yeah, every every especially because we're just amateurs, which is what this yeah. podcast is going to be called. Uh, Spider Man and Amateurs Review. Yeah, because because we need. Uh, we need to let you know that we actually are not professionals. We are shit at this. Well, oh. we just we're just telling us what we like about the film. Yeah. We're not exactly trying. We're not trying to critique yeah. it down to the last. Like it's, hours, it's so. a, it'd be a bit um not uh what's this kind of word clickbait. Not clickbait. I'm trying to think. But not, last, yeah, like where we're like Spider Man review and it's like certain something and you're expecting a massive in depth thing. It's not like that. It's more of a conversation about no, the new yeah, Spider Man no, film. So that's why we named it that. Out of ten. Oh, can you go first? I've got, I've got a nine. I was, like, I, I, it sounds really weird. Nine point three, I could, cause in my head I'm like, nine's not enough. I loved it. Yeah. But nine point right. five seems too high. If you know what I mean, it seems too perfect. Yeah. So I, was I kind never of thought to be between that. Yeah. I've <laughs> never, I've never thought about the points, like the point three or yeah. point two. Not like I don't, but I was like, nine seems not enough for it. But nine point five seems too much. It seems too perfect. So nine. No, I'm gonna three. go for a nine point five. I absolutely love the film. I, I I'm not saying I didn't love it. Oh no, nine point three is hard. Yeah. You like nine point three? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna. I'm actually pushing the ball, and I think it's my favorite superhero film. Well, you haven't watched Winter Soldier, yet, have you? No, I watched Civil War, but I haven't watched Winter Soldier, which is Tom's favorite superhero film, isn't it? it? You said it was. Yeah, yeah, it probably is my favorite superhero. Film. I'm just trying to. I know there's a lot. Everything. Yeah, until uh, I'm not gonna lie. Until the Flash film comes out. 2018, I think it is. Or 2019, probably now, because they lost the director. But that's not about this one. Yeah, we yeah, can yeah. talk about that later. I was going to say, but, that's for another, yeah. for another one, isn't But it? until then, I don't care, even if it's shit. Well, I'm yeah. going to love it. Well, but yeah. anyway, yeah. So uh, right now, I think uh, Winter Soldier is my favourite. But then this is this a saw Civil War. 
I like this better than Civil War. As a film, I think Civil War is a better film, but I enjoyed this more, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I think in reviews, Civil War is going to get a higher rating because as a film, it's made better. It's just a better film. Like, Saving Private Ryan is an amazing film, but I can't watch it over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah. When I could watch this over and over and over again, it was just enjoyable. One of those films that you can just watch, 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 watch. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Right, I think we'll end it there. Yeah. Um, Thanks for listening in, as always. Um, Just kind of closing things uh, from that. Um, Obviously, Tom's still running his YouTube channel, Pasco Plays. Um, the guy who keeps writing down in the comments, he doesn't do Dark Souls. He's gonna do Dark Souls at some point. Uh, yeah, I, I, I put one up the other day. Yeah, well, yeah. It's Jake. He's called Jake. Stop slagging him off. Yeah, yeah. He's trying. You know, we can't all be as great as you, mate. Yeah. Boom. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, anyway, I'm gonna get bossed in yeah. the comments now. I'm <laughs> on. He's gonna give me a few digs. Yeah. Uh, anyway, oh, I just want to quickly say, um, my, my brain just went blank. I had. Do you know something? Oh, yeah. Um. We, we said some improvements that we want to make at the start. If you've got any that you think it'll help improve the podcast a ton, or even just constructive criticism, that's all we're mm. looking for. No, definitely. We know we're not very good at this, so we just want to see how to get better. No, definitely. And the only way, room for improvement. Like, you look at yourself and you, you pick out stuff, but sometimes we don't see the stuff because it's us talking. Mm. We're thinking, oh, that's fine, whereas it might not be. So if there's nothing... If there's something you don't like or if there's something that needs improving, mm. let us know. Or mm. the podcast's not going to get better if you don't let us know that the stuff we're doing bad. No, no, definitely. And just final thing, hopefully next few months when I get my laptop, the quality should be a lot better because we'll be recording on a proper software yeah. right off the bat. Oh. Um, and I'll have my own mic as well, yeah. so we won't have to share a mic. Like and... We are looking to improve the... Because the audio quality isn't like... Mm unreal it's it's decent mm. I've listened back well, to it. we it's can good. do it across the table then and yeah. then we can also you can also bring your like kind of pop filter yeah pop filter and, and just... we'll have a mic for ourselves instead of sharing the same one i think once we get the proper setup because this right now in a few months time we'll yeah, have the proper we've setup. got a crappy laptop with a crappy mic on a puffy yeah <laughs> a puffy is like a like a little small chair thing yeah because uh, if you don't know what a puffy is yeah like, what? <laughs> like what's a puffy that sounds awful if you don't know what a puffy yeah, is yeah. no no yeah it's like a little small um, cushion, cushion chair. chair yeah and it's kind of like a coffee table that's mm. like smaller mm. and we've literally got it on there sat in the living room so we're looking to get it better yeah but we'll end it there yeah. thanks for uh, watching slash listening to the Barden Arranger and we'll see you next time in a bit